Right, I've just got this uh, Mercedes spray out of the shed. I'm just trying to make head and tail of what we got, what we've got here on this control button. It's rather complicated. Yeah, you've got all the various functions like lifting up in the boom, but it depends what colour that light is there at the moment. That's uh, red, and that's green at this function. Then there's another lever in the back here. Uh, here. If you press that, that then goes orange, which means you can do different functions. So. Then I've got this pad here, I've got to work out what on earth it means. And this one up here. Right, I've just uh, been on the website and found out what pressure I can drop these tyres down. So that's what I'm now, at the moment they're at 1.6 bar, you can drop them down to about 0.8 possibly 0.7 because I'm not going a long way with it fully loaded at maximum speed so that's what we're now doing there we go just over 0.7 of a bar so that'll be okay And if you well, just one fault over here on this the end nozzle that nozzle there is uh keeps coming on and it's something to do with this control valve at the end there and it was a nip wire so we're just trying to work out what the problem is got the Amazon specialist out which now got his Pulls out and have a look and see what we can do. Automatic uh, stabilization. Uh, it's on page. Oh, it's on page one. It's that one. There we go. And then you get that in there. Right. Now I've got to get out of that screen and go. Uh, where have I got to go now? Not that one. So that one. Yeah, that one. Then get the man up. Clear data. Yes. Procedure is complete. Right now as we drive forward we should have
Right, we've, we've just started on um, on Azuro now, so we're not on we're not on the chemical now. We've got the nozzles on, and I've just been round this this field is a 16 and a half hectare field. I've just been round once, and the second I'm now going on the you see the first run is over there. We're now on the second run, so it's now on the on the on the GPS on the steering. This green one down here means steering's on and that other one is how many centimetres it is offline so it's on spot on line now one centimetre two centimetres and then as I get to the end all I need to do is pull back on the joystick or slow me down and you should see these nozzles should automatically shut down there we go the whole thing's shut down now so now yeah and the, and the boom is just lifted up so now I've just got to turn turn round uh, I'll turn, the, I'll turn the spray off because as I explained earlier in this video, which was actually yesterday, um, it will uh, start putting the end nozzles on if you're not in quite the same place. And this is uh, here telling you how far I am off the line. So I'll swing round about now. Where am I? I'm, I'm going quite far up. Here we go. So now if I press this, that button there, it's, it's just engaged the steering. It will just sort itself out. The, the wheel isn't turning at all. It's just the, 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 the wheels are moving, not not the actual steering wheel. And then I uh, turn the spray on by pressing this button here. The boom immediately drops down. All the nozzles turn on. I just push the joystick forward. And then away we go. And, that, and now, yeah, we're now at about 100 litres a hectare, it's, it's, it's fluctuating a little bit, 95, 100 litres a hectare, and we are doing one bar pressure. And now the, the booms are, are now now sitting perfectly level. And as on the, at the moment, that's why I can do the camera, I'm doing absolutely nothing. The steering, the sprayer is steering itself across the field at exactly uh, 30 metres. If you look at this screen here, you can see it's not missing anything down there at all. All nozzles are working so I am literally just sitting here until I get to the end of the field when I have to pull the, pull the joystick back slow down and then pull it back in the next row so yeah and we're going at about 12 kilometers now just above just below and it's not the 5th of March it's actually the 6th of March so I don't know why 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 it says that but it's, it's one day behind so 